critical that we rescue Ghana from the abyss into which it is sinking. My comrades and friends, we must prepare Ghana to cope with the current global challenges. We must open new horizons and new hopes to instill a new sense of purpose in our people, catching up on what we have missed while taking steps to enhance our growth. We must place Ghana in sync with the new developments taking place around the world in order that we prepare our economy to become an advanced one. To achieve this, we must build a knowledge-based economy and move faster into the new world of smart manufacturing and digital services. This will generate not only growth, but prosperity for all Ghanaians. We'll create not only jobs, but sustainable and decent jobs so that people can live prosperous and dignified lives. We must put Ghanaian businesses at the center of our economic growth. It is only when Ghanaian businesses thrive that our economy can grow and create jobs and prosperity for our people. We must create equal opportunities for all Ghanaian businesses and not deal with them based on political color or family affiliation of their owners. My brothers and sisters, I've had the unique and humbling privilege of providing leadership as president, stepping back and being elected again to lead the National Democratic Congress into the December 2020 elections. It has therefore given me the opportunity during this period to reflect soberly on the challenges and expectations of governance and the heavy burden of people's hopes and aspirations that come with it. Ghana cannot afford to do things the old way. Survival and success for today and the future generations require a much more urgent and in many cases substantial change to prevailing economic and social relations. Ghana needs a new era of social justice. It is time for renewal and coming together. It is time for greater self-reliance. It is time to close the wealth gap that divides our society and create greater equality amongst our people. It is time to finally end intolerance and social discrimination against ethnic groups, religious groups, gender and age groups. It is time to end repression of the media. It is time to unite and create opportunities for all our people and not just a privileged few. It is time to do this democratically with the full involvement of all our people.